Hi, this is Anand here. In today's video, I will show you how you can create this beautiful overlapping hover effect in Elementor with just CSS. If you see over here, behind the image, we have an overlapping background and border. But once you hover on it, they just switch places to create this beautiful hover effect. So we'll learn how to create this hover effect in Elementor today. Excited to learn? Let's get right into it. Here we are in the Elementor Editor section. First of all, we'll create the structure. I will click over here and I will add this two column section. Just for style, I will change the width of this container. I will set this to 65 and this one to 35. And in the items, I will set the elements gap to 20. So there, there is gap between the two containers. I will add a heading widget over here. I'm not going to change any text or anything like that. I will simply add a text editor. On this column, I will add an image. Let's change the image. I will choose this image. And I will set the image size to full. And from here, and the items, I will align them to center. So it looks like this. Okay, the element gap didn't work. Let's add it 20. Now it looks better. I will select the image widget. Go to advance. And I will add a class name. I will add a class name as card container. Make sure you need to add this exact class name for the CSS to work. So our basic structure is ready. Now it's time to add some CSS magic. For this I will select this container, go to advance and then custom CSS. Just for your information, custom CSS is part of Elementor Pro. And if you are interested in buying Elementor Pro, you can check the link in the description below. It's my affiliate link. And if you do decide to buy through my link, I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you. That supports this channel and my website. So that being said, let's add the CSS. I will paste this CSS. Boom. As you can see, we already have the overlapping background and border. I will go to the layout and add some padding. Let's add 20 pixel. So there is room for the overlapping background and border. Let's come back to custom CSS. But as we can see, we have the background, overlapping background and the border, but the animation doesn't work. For that, we need to add a bit more CSS. Let's click over here. I will, I will add this bit more CSS. I've commented this section. So you can understand this part is for the hover animation. Now if I hover over, you can see the animation is working. If you are finding this video helpful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. So that way this video can reach to more people. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. Now let me quickly explain the CSS for you so you can understand how it's working. As always, I've created CSS variables. From here you can change main sections like color and animation speed. If you change this color over here, let's say if I change this to, see the background and the border color changes. So you can control the color from here and you can also control the animation. It's 0.25 right now. I will set it to 5. Now if I hover over, see the animation is slowing down. Let's undo this. Now let me quickly brief out the rest of the CSS so you can understand how the structure was created. Remember we added this class name card container to this image. We are targeting that and setting the position to relative. Then we are targeting the pseudo element before and after of the same CSS class. Adding a border over here, then transition and setting the position as absolute. 
then again we are adding background color and positioning them top and left similarly we are doing for the border as well using the after class after pseudo element and on hover we are just changing the top and left position to, to create this switch effect so this is how simple the CSS is now if we check the responsive view it is working perfectly in the tablet and in mobile it is working perfectly as well so nothing needed to be changed you can download this CSS from my website the link is in the description below now the beauty of this CSS you can add this effect to other elements as well I'm using image widget over here you can use other elements as well let me quickly show you how you can do that let's click over here I will add this four column section and from here let's add an icon box I'm not going to change any content in the advanced tab I will add the class name cart container I will select this container go to advance again I will add a padding of 20 pixel so there is gap between the container and this element I will go to the custom CSS and will add this CSS see the hover animation is working but we need to add a background let's come over here let's go to background you can add a background let's say this so it is working perfectly for this widget as well similarly you can add multiple elements and have this effect as well let me show you how for this you need to add a container let's select this container let's go to advance again I will add a CSS class cart container now I will start adding other elements to it I will add a text widget I will add a text editor now I will add a button I will again select this container will add a 20 pixel padding so there is gap within this container and I will add a background as well let's go to style I will add a different background over here let's select something like this now we'll open the navigator tool I need to select this container I'll go to advance custom CSS again I will paste the CSS see the animation is working for this as well I will need to add some spacing over here let's go to items I will set a gap to 20 so there is gap you can increase that value as you like see they are working as well okay I need to add let's select this container I need to add a padding over here and now so as you can see you can use this CSS on other widgets as well I will delete this for now let's close this I will update this page let's preview the changes so it is working perfectly so this is how simply you can create this background and border overlapping effect in Elementor with just CSS and finally if you need help with the Elementor or WordPress project feel free to contact me through my website the link is in the description I hope you have learned something new today for more videos like this please do consider subscribing to our channel thanks for your time I'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care